Welcome back to Gruber Motors. I'm Pete Gruber, and today we're going to cover the mechanic of the future. The process of auto repair is rapidly evolving in a completely new direction. EV shops, although not anywhere near as ubiquitous as internal combustion engine vehicle service centers, challenge our stereotypical expectations of what the place you bring your car for repair should look like. At Gruber Motor Company, the first large independent commercial Tesla service center, we're always amused when customers walk in expecting an auto repair shop only to find an engineering and a research and development lab full of electronics and technicians and engineers working on electronic assemblies, which is really what it takes to repair a Tesla. Sure, we also have a shop area where low-tech auto wrenching work takes place, but even that portion of our service center breaks the stereotype with an odor-free environment, grease and oil-free clean floors, and people walking around with test equipment, oscilloscopes, and laptops hovering over electric vehicles. Until Tesla vehicle warranty periods expired, the very few independent shops like ours specializing in EVs had little business, and the limited business we did have was centered around low-tech auto, like tires, brakes, windshields, detailing, basically anything not covered by Tesla warranty. For a time, Tesla service centers would not do any work on salvage cars bought at auction, and we became the choice for customers for salvage Tesla repairs. Fortunately, to survive, we targeted the first Tesla vehicle, the Roadster, released in 2008 which was moving out of warranty. Support from Tesla back then in any way was out of the question since they viewed us as an annoying competitor, confused and puzzled by our success with the Roadster. What they did not realize is that we have had over three decades of experience reverse engineering critical power equipment with the same types of constraints, no support from the OEMs. So we got very good developing our own tools, test equipment, schematics, even software diagnostics. And this type of equipment is virtually identical to what's in a Tesla drivetrain, a three-phase inverter with a DC power system. The lack of support that we experienced from the critical power original equipment manufacturers was actually far worse than what we experienced with Tesla. Combined with developing advanced repair skills for Tesla's first generation vehicle, we began attracting clients from the Roadster community who had heard about our advanced alternative approach to fixing their cars, which included repairs down to component level rather than the far more costly assembly swaps, the main battery pack and the power electronics module known as a PIM in a Roadster. The next wave of Tesla vehicles, the Model S, years 2012 and 2013, with a much larger owner population of around 26,000 compared to only 2,000 Roadsters, is moving out of warranty into legacy vehicle status. We are now expanding our focus onto these other vehicle platforms, again, applying the fix and repair strategy compared to the entire assembly replacement strategy. An out of warranty customer given a choice will naturally select the far less expensive option. The level of disruption transportation is currently undergoing is unprecedented. The transition from horse and buggy to internal combustion engine was a snail's pace compared to this current upheaval from internal combustion engine to EV modes of transportation. For auto mechanics, this could have massive implications for their future careers as gasoline models gradually disappear from the landscape, making way for new electric vehicle technology. The next five years will bring more change to the automobile industry than the last 50. Shops like ours will become quite commonplace as many new vehicle manufacturers enter the EV market and their vehicle platforms eventually move past warranty. They will not, however, migrate from the internal combustion engine shops, even the cream of the crop types like exotic car service organizations. 
the skills gap is just too wide. The average traditional auto mechanic does not possess the core skills to migrate into this new disruptive transportation technology, which now requires software and electronic skills. In fact, it is much easier for a company familiar with electronics repair to make that transition much like we did. Where will this new breed of mechanic come from? Tesla, with forward thinking and vision ingrained in their DNA, has already begun to prepare for the inevitable shortage of service talent by partnering with select community colleges and learning institutions by creating a START program. Also known as the Student Automotive Training Program, it was designed to integrate a learning program and curriculum designed specifically to teach Tesla vehicle repair skills, culminating in a smooth transition from college to full-time employment in one of their service centers, inserting graduates basically at the forefront of the EV revolution. These START program graduates are designed to backfill and populate the overwhelming need for service center personnel, following, however, the traditional model of swapping assemblies, drivetrains, battery packs at the service center level. It's just not cost effective or possible to staff each service center with advanced electronics and software skills staff to repair down to component level. This layer of service personnel that is being cranked out by these crash course programs will be slim pickings for independent maintenance organizations where a much broader set and deeper set of skills will be required. A well-stocked parts room, for example, is not at their disposal, which forces them to dig deeper into problems, often down to root cause. This shortage of uniquely skilled labor creates a barrier to entry for independent maintenance organizations without any clear path to resolution. We are asked at least twice a week whether we have had any plans to franchise and scale and replicate what we do here with Tesla vehicles in Phoenix. We've had to rely on lengthy on-the-job training programs to cultivate and develop staff to get the necessary skills at the independent maintenance organization level. We predict the EV tech field will be rising near the top of the most promising career fields this century. Due to the inevitable shortage of candidates, fueled by the speed of disruption as automakers clamor to fill demand for technicians to service these vehicles, you can be in the enviable position of having employers running after you by choosing this career. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked what you saw, please leave us some comments down below. Let us know what you'd like to see more of. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted when our next video comes out. If you'd like more information about what we talked about today, check out the Electrified Podcast.